Hello world, it is Zach here coming to you day 30 of my 30 day video challenge and yeah today I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good actually. I've woken up and did my yoga which today has left me feeling particularly in a good energy. It's moved my energy around in a really nice way and it feels great, it feels good. I am grateful today for another day. I've got some work to get on with today which is good. Excited to jump on that and get it done. There's not a lot of sunlight coming through at the moment. We've got a lot of cloud coverage and it's just really reminding me like make the most of every bit of sunlight you can you can get just when it comes out just go and bask in it enjoy it get that vitamin D. It's so important and I feel it's often so neglected so that's something that I'm definitely going to be waiting for and uh, make the most of it when it comes. It's not like Mexico. <laughs> the cold is still with me and feels better today than it did yesterday. Today, Yesterday was the first full on day, so glad about that. I've done some meditation as well. I'm feeling good. I feel like there's some resentments that I need to clear out. There's some, there's some people that perhaps I need to forgive, but it's not really people that I need to forgive. It's, it's the emotions that I hold within myself related to those situations that I need to forgive. So that's what I'm going to focus on doing a little bit of now. It's just really just making peace, making peace with those emotions and just letting, letting myself feel them out and just, just seeing it from a different perspective, you know, going into that bird's eye perspective and witnessing the situations for what they are and just making peace of them and also realizing, hey, I'm at no liberty or responsibility to involve myself with those people again, you know, and that's, and that, and that, that in itself is enough for me to be like, okay, I can move on now. I can bring peace and love to this emotion and just Thank you for the opportunity of the lessons and yeah, move on from it and put those people in my past. So that's what I'm doing. Now that I'm back in the UK, uh, something that I've been looking forward to for quite a while now, for a number of months, like half a year, actually, I've been waiting for some, uh, some finances to shift around. And I feel like I'm finally going to be ready to just rent my own place for six months and just, and just completely focus on me for once. It's the way I've set up my life, basically. It was 2014, I first had this intention to become self-employed, but then 2015 came around and I then formed this intention to basically live a life of time freedom to like manifest a ton of financial security, like more money and wealth and resources than I actually needed so that I could wholeheartedly follow my passion of like helping other people. And yeah, it's taken a few years. It's taken like six years now, I suppose. But like I'm in this position now where it's like, hey, I feel really, really happy with what I've manifested. Although it's not really me manifesting it. It's this creation itself working through me that has manifested this for me, to which I'm extremely grateful. And so I'm going to rent a house for six months or, or a flat or something. I'm going to rent a space and have it as a place of solitude entirely for myself, which is something I've never really experienced before for the long term. To really have a place that is entirely my own with my own kitchen, entirely my own kitchen, that's a really big deal to me. And my intention here is to focus on this one part of myself that perhaps I've been putting off for, for years. I was sacrificing my health to gain wealth. <laughs> and now I'm at this part where it's like, right, now I'm going to have to spend my wealth to regain my health. <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm unhealthy in particular. I'm just saying I've got some extra body weight that I finally want to let go of after holding on to it for three quarters of my life now at age 30. I've been holding on to extra weight. So, and I realize I just need to remove all distractions. 
So I can't be living with other people when they're eating like a diet that's not on the same, same wavelength as mine. I need to be in my own space, cooking my own food from scratch and doing it exactly how I need it to be. For me to have no resistance in completely changing my body, my physical body. But it's never just the physical body that's changing, it's the emotions as well, isn't it? That's the thing. And for me, I know that when it comes to losing weight, as soon as I start burning fat, I'm going to be faced. The emotions are going to be coming up and I need to be able to process them and have a system as well in terms of my nutrition. So I need to systematize my eating routine and the food I eat and my essentially my kind of like diet plan because there's a very strict kind of protocol that I'm going to be following. It's going to be it's going to be really good. I can feel it after years and decades, well, decades now actually of looking into nutrition and learning about nutrition. I, I feel that I finally found one that's going to work for me to, to lose weight. And then I'll transition onto a different protocol when I feel I am ready to. I forgot, I forgot what I was saying before that, but yeah, I'm just really excited to fully focus on myself and stop focusing on others and put that focus entirely on myself for once. It's been a long time coming. So it's going to be good. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, I'll probably rent the house here in England because I know where I'm at with this place. I, I have all the resources I need, like in supermarkets here, we have a vast range and it's, there's a lot of availability and it's, it's just this kind of, the infrastructure here is just spot on for what I intend to achieve. So the only downside is living through another English winter, which I promised myself last winter I would never do, but <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I'm meant to be here at this time. So I'm really grateful for this opportunity to be able to use my willpower and the resources that I've built to create a new version of myself that is just even more grateful and even more confident and even more happy and even more every, everything in so many different ways. I'm so grateful and I'm so excited. Thank you for sharing this space with me. Uh, that's really going to be what I'm going to be focusing on moving on. This is day 30 of my 30 day video challenge. There's not I just wanted to give thanks as well. I want to just give thanks to myself and to creation itself, just to say, hey, thanks for being here with me. Thank you for guiding me through this. And yeah, I feel a lot of love. Sure, yeah, okay, good. This is good. There's times when I feel that life isn't always beautiful. But then there's times where I realize, hey, you can just shift your thoughts and your perspective here. And then I see life is beautiful. And just giving that little bit of appreciation every single day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's a game changer. Oh, that's another thing as well. Being back in England now and not smoking weed like I was doing for the the last half of my life, basically, from 15 years old to 30 years old and how much of a, an impact that had on so many aspects of my life. <laughs> not entirely positive as well, but growthful. I still did a lot. I still performed a lot. I still did what I ultimately needed to do during that time, but... I feel so much better without that plant in my system anymore. Truly, I feel at peace and just happy and joyful and like I have this glow inside of myself. Yeah, at this point in my life, it used to be 15 years ago that cannabis used to bring me up higher 
than than my baseline at that time in my life, like in my late teens and even early twenties, the cannabis was like a, a release. It was something that actually made me feel better than what I was feeling. But in the past, since perhaps 2016, uh, I had noticed that the cannabis had actually been bringing me down lower than, than actually up. So, and now for not smoking cigarettes, this is actually my third month now. I've been three months now, completely cigarette and weed free. Although I did have a little bit of weed before I left Mexico when I saw some friends, but that's not an issue. It's not affecting me like it used to. I don't have the same relationship to the plant like I used to. And yeah, so three months now, very much sober from tobacco and weed. I feel great. <laughs> I'm really grateful for that as well. And I feel that this alignment, as I continue it now, is going to be the alignment that's going to allow me to continue to shape my life in the way that I see fit and to create my reality the way that I feel is best for me, while also surrendering to the divine will, which overwrites whatever I choose to do in terms of creating my reality. But that is, that is the way. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here as part of this journey with me for the past 30 videos, whether you've watched or not. I'm extremely grateful for being able to do this and I'm going to continue to do so in some kind of form. I'm not entirely sure what yet, but it has to have a system. It has to have a structure at this point. And I want to do it properly, professionally, with high quality. So it's something that I would actually want to watch. Even though this has been of great value to myself to do, as well as to many others I know, just being able to voice myself here, it's, it provides tremendous value to so many people. So... Boom, let's go. So much love, thank you for watching. Zach here, over and out. Day 30. <laughs> Goodbye.